Welcome back folks to West Coast Media Solutions and our journey to financial freedom. I know it's been a little while since I've um, posted a video, but I wanted to uh, make you guys aware if in case you haven't heard yet um, that if you are self-employed and even if you're not self-employed, but especially if you're self-employed, you definitely want to take advantage of this um, and that is the ability to get your funds um, matched up to 3%, which is typically only something that people can get when they are a working for a, a, a company or a um, government, you know, or something like that. Usually only employees are, are usually privy to getting their retirement money matched by their employer so this is uh, truly a game changer so stay tuned folks all right so we're going to take a look at um, the company that is offering this ability to obtain matching funds and drum roll blah, 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 blah. it is robin hood yes Robinhood is now offering the ability to match your, if you open up an IRA account with them, which stands for individual retirement account. Okay. In case you didn't know, um, if you open up a, a IRA with them, then you will have the ability to get your funds matched. But let, before we get into the IRA program that they have now, let's talk about some of the other huge perks that they're, they are now offering. Okay, so um, here's some of the huge, huge perks that they are now offering for just $5 a month, um, which you can't beat that at all. Most banks typically are charging uh, around $12 a month to just to have a, a checking account with them, such as like Chase and your Bank of America's and Wells Fargo's and whatnot. Um, so at five bucks a month, that's, um, that's a deal. That's a steal of a deal because that's over half um, the the cost of having a, a, a spending. They're called Robinhood calls it a spending account, but it's basically um, a, like a checking account or whatever. Um, so that's 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 good there. And the only time typically when the big banks will waive their monthly fee is if you do direct deposit. Well, the problem with that is if you're self-employed then a lot of times you don't really know what your money is going to look like from day to day, week to week, month to month. Uh, so it's kind of hard to, you know, have any type of real true direct deposit in the sense of, of say an employee would have where they know if they're getting, if they get paid weekly, they know that they're going to get a direct deposit from that employee's um, employer every week or every two weeks or or semi-monthly or whatever so um i know that you know the banks the big banks they offer the waiving of their monthly fee if you have direct deposit but that's usually a challenge if you're self-employed whereas with robin hood you can get um the five dollars a month fee without having direct deposit you know, or the need of direct deposit. On top of that, they're all, they're paying right now 4.9%. None of the big banks are paying anything close to that, not even for a savings account or even for a CD. I don't, I doubt you could even get close to 5% on a CD, even though, you know, we know that interest rates have been um, going up and up and up because the um, Federal Reserve, they keep raising the interest rates that the banks charge each other to borrow from each other. Um, and so, and then of course the banks, they pass that cost uh, along to the end consumer. So that's why you're seeing high rates on credit cards, car payments, um, mortgages, you know, personal loans and et cetera. But at any rate, um, with Robinhood, you can get 4.9% on 
on your spin account, which is excellent. And then here you see where they mention about the 3% IRA I, for your individual retirement account match. There are uh, there is a caveat to it. You need to keep it. Um, you need to keep the gold account, which is the five dollars a month, for at least a year. Um, and then there's uh, a couple of other things that caveats to it, which we'll go over here in just a second. So um, additionally, you can do bigger deposits, instant, instant deposits, anywhere from five thousand to fifty thousand into your brokerage account instantly. So you can start investing right away um, in stocks and crypto and um, EFTs. Um, you pretty much can invest in just about everything with Robinhood. You can do if you're into doing options, you can do options as well. And you, there's real time market data uh, research that you can do. Um, and you have a professional uh, research as well. So let's look at what the limitations are when it comes to the IRA, just so you guys are aware. So here is the 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 um, the caveats. Um, number one, they will match all of your con annual contributions with, with as long as you keep the Robinhood Gold account up to three percent. Uh, you need to keep it for at least the gold account for at least one year uh, from um, the date of your first 3% um, match in order to keep that additional 2%. So if you, if you cancel the gold, um, the gold account, then it'll, they'll drop you back down to just the 1% match. Um, if you cancel that before two, before a year. Okay. And then you also need to hold your uh, IRA, your um, stocks and stuff in your IRA for at least five years in order to keep the um, 3% match. Okay. So, uh, which really technically the 1% match is that, you know, they're giving that to you and you, there's no caveats onto that. You don't have to have a, a gold account. You don't have to hold them for five years or anything like that to keep the one. But if you want that additional two, then you need to keep your contributions um, at least for five years. And that's not unusual, even with um, even with if you're getting a match, if you're a, an employee, a W-2 person, and you're getting a match from your employer, most employers require anywhere from three years up to five years of you being uh, vested in order for you to keep what they're matching you. So Robinhood's five-year holding period is not really um, unusual or unreasonable because, um, like I said, it's pretty standard in the industry in terms of um in terms of retirement accounts and and employers matching your contributions uh, most employers like i said they 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 call it vesting um when you're an employee meaning you're vested you have to be vested or have stayed with that employer for at least three years before you can have um a hundred percent ownership and access to their the portion of your um retirement money that you've um, been investing and they've been matching that you um, have ownership of and some employers like i said they have a five-year vesting period to where you have to stay with them for at least five years um before you have a hundred percent ownership of however much they've been matching um, some employers they match 60 cents on the uh, on the dollar up to three percent. Some is a hundred percent one for one match up to three percent or up to five percent or whatever. Um, whereas with Robinhood, theirs is three percent. Um, 
uh, they're matching 3% dollar for dollar, basically, of what you put in. I, I believe that I believe that's how it goes. Uh, and their requirements are maintain a, a gold account, which is $5 a month. Your first 30 days is free. And then after that, it's $5 a month. And also, you have to stay with them, with your IRA, um, for at least five years. And those are the requirements. And really, if you're, you know, you do, you're doing an IRA for long term, right? So it's not like you would really be trying to open and close it and things like that, you know, because there's uh, tax repercussions for doing that. So, you know, when anytime when you open up an IRA is it's for long term anyways. And so really um, five years or 60 months, I like to speak in months. That's really not a long time, you know, when you think really, really think about it. So, you know, to me, it's free money that you're leaving on the table. If you don't go and get you uh, open up you an IRA with Robin Hood and it would be a Roth IRA because um, you're putting the money in after, you know, taxes, basically. So um, and then you can uh, have it set up to completely reinvest your uh, dividends, if, especially if you're going to be buying dividend stocks um, and dividend paying EFTs, which is what, you know, what I'm doing. And um, and so, yeah. And then you can also loan your stocks out and, and make money off of loaning your stocks out. And it, it's not really like anything that you really, really have to do. It's all within the Robin Hood app. All, all you have to do is just enable that. Um, that option that you want to, you know, loan out your your stocks um, to other investors and um, make additional money off of your investments that way too. So there's multiple different ways that you can make money investing um, in the stock market with the Robinhood app. So check it out. I'm gonna put my um, referral link in the description. It doesn't um, affect you or anything like that in a negative way. Um, but it will help me out. I'll get some free stock and you'll get some free stock. Um, so it's a win-win. So why not? All right. Until next time, you guys uh, take care and let's, you know, continue on this journey. I know there's a lot of negative news going on, but we got to do what we can do on, on our end. All right. Until next time. Peace.